<clears throat> this is time once more to give a more specific perspective of time in itself as an example. Let's use Anu and the creation of this existence started off at a point which is a beginning that means that is a starting point indication of the origin of time because whatever has a beginning must have an end because the very nature of time in itself is that of having a beginning and an end. Due to the manifestation of time coming from the expression of here that was compressed into a spiral. So within Anu creating this existence at a beginning point where everything and all of this creation, this existence came together within a compressed placement at the beginning. What occurs due to the spiral, it indicate that this creation and existence of Anu and those that assisted and supported him must have an end. Naturally, Anu was not satisfied with this because he realized that whatever has a beginning must have an end. This is the constructed essence of time, the limitation of time, so to speak. So from here, that's when Anu realized he can take the beginning and the end and link them together to form what is now referred to as the infinity sign. And in the infinity sign, Anu realized, yes, I do not now I am not limited to do the construct of time of having a beginning and an end. The beginning spirals out to an end. I now am able to trap, to trap time into itself within the infinity designed symbol. And that's how this manifested designed creation has been existing within and as endless cycles where the beginning and end always meet and bounces back. So creation at a beginning and then it ends and then it begins and then it ends and then it begins and then it ends. So in essence the principle of beginning and end was removed and this creation, this existence was trapped within an infinite cycle just continuing as is, with no deviation or escape from its primary design. So this section of the interview, to give perspective of time in itself manifested into an infinite form, which is also time, because infinity is limited in its very nature of only being able to infinitely exist within that which it has been designed and created within, which is this manifested existence. Infinitely continuing as it has been designed and programmed and created to no beginning and no end, just infinitely continuing. Where times, where the construct of times, beginning and end, has met as one. And at the end of my first interview, my sentences was not complete. Time does not exist here. Infinity does not exist here. Time and infinity 
is a construct of design to trap this manifested existence into continuous cycles and circles within its pre-programmed nature design. So the key is to transcend the perception and belief of time within infinity. The only way to do that is to stop the cycles of the mind, identify the cycles of your mind that would be indicated by and through habits, which is manifested in your behavior. You have to become very specific about every bodily movement you make, because each movement you make is an indication of accessing a mind manifested cycle as habit to which you have defined yourself and thus enslave yourself to cycles. Cycles is time manifest within an infinite movement or motion. Stop the cycles. Stop time. Stop the infinite motion and movement of cycles of time as time. and be here. Thank you.